everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to navigate editing and visualize the gis data in 3d using arc scene so in the table of contents section you can able, able to visualize we have two layers one layer is the river layer and the second one is our temp data so uh, we will be navigating in 3d and uh, editing in 3d symbology and layer properties so now let's start with navigating so we're going to navigate to this option called uh, navigate so now i'm going to click this option called navigate here so once you have clicked your navigate tool so now uh, move your mouse around and get the different perspective of the model so for example let me show so this is our digital elevation model so uh, you can basically use this tool uh, navigate uh, turn on the navigate tool and get the different perspective of this model so you can able to view that so you can uh, able to get a lot of different views uh, using the specific tool called navigate just by using my mouse so now to zoom in and zoom out this model all you have to do is use your scroll button in your mouse to get zoom into this particular model so uh, you can uh, navigate the different perspective of model and also you can zoom to the different uh, so different uh, zoom in and uh, you can use your scroll button to zoom in and zoom out let me zoom out here so the next tool uh, we're going to take a look at this it is our fly tool so you can able to view this particular tool here so uh, let me click this so now let us uh, see the description about this tool fly through the scene in any directions and at different speed you can hold shift while flying to maintain a constant elevation and press escape at any time to immediately stop the movement so now uh, let us use this particular tool here so i'm going to click here so uh, so now i'm in uh, 3d i'm viewing the things from a uh, ca camera and the camera follows it let me show you that so uh, let me uh, so the camera follows the mouse and if i let uh, left click again uh, you can see it move forwards so you can able to view that when i press scroll button it gets stopped and uh, let me show you one more thing here let me uh, press uh, left click again now we got lost so we're gonna move to this layer right click and zoom to layer so now let me uh, right click and uh, now let me left click this and now let me press scroll button yeah and again let me navigate and zoom to layer let me show you once more time So now uh, another thing uh, we can do is we can set an observer point. So we go navigate to this option here. So navigate to this option called set an observer. It sets an observer position to, to the selected points. So now let me select this particular option here, set observer. And now let me click the point here. So now here you can able to view here. So once you reach to the observer's point here, you can just click the button here, the navigate button, and thus you can navigate around. So you can now be able to navigate around this uh, dem data here. And now let me place an observer point here. Let me click the observer, set observer. Let me place a point here. And click the navigate button. And uh, we can uh, view from here. So it's kind of nice way to view the things uh, as if you're in the specific spot on the dem. And now let me zoom back to the full layer. So one more thing I want to point out to you is that I want to point out to those so few with the coupon that capable of it, it is uh, we can view in the perspective like we can now. So where we can look around it from a different angles or and now let me show you that so we can navigate to this option called view and then we're going to click this option called view settings so here you can able to view the view setting window pops up 
so from this setting you can able to uh, view characteristics projections so currently we are in perspective uh, perspective uh, projection so you can also change it to a uh, orthographic 2d view or i can select the this particular option called stereo view so let me show you that click this so we can able to view in the a stereo view here let me place this window somewhere here so basic uh, this particular stereo views which are used for uh, producing a, a true three-dimensional uh, image as uh, perceived by your eyes and uh, it has a few different uh, three-dimensional viewing options so it has uh, the red and blue version for for those uh, of you have the classes that converts that to a 3d and uh, if you have a hardware and the glasses that work for uh, it can uh, do a shutter effects uh, in order to transmit the 3d image correctly uh, to you so you can see those things in 3d using our stereo view preference that is available here so you can use uh, the red blue uh, thing and the shutter glass and the free so uh, let me select this particular uh, option called free so here you can do a freestanding version where it shows uh, shows you a left and uh, and a right image and you can get a stereo viewing uh, googles goggles for this uh. those of you uh, who are uh, ever good with the magic eyes uh, you can uh, you're familiar with those and uh, and had them uh, wherever you live if you go slightly uh, cross tight here and overlap the images you can actually make them uh, see or so you can actually see them in 3d without any special glasses too so now we can navigate this uh, let me set an observer point here let me place an observer point somewhere here and uh, let me click this navigate button so you can still navigate in uh, 3d uh, in this way and uh, see it in 3d and now let me make it to a perspective view so let me click this and uh, let me cancel this and now let's talk about the 3d editor we can right click in the empty space and click this option called 3d editor so now let me place this editor here so like arc map we have uh, a 3d editor in arc scene you can just start editing by using this option called start editing so now let me show you here we're gonna click this option called 3d editor we're gonna click start editing so once you are given start editing we can navigate to this particular layer called uh, reverse we're gonna right click and zoom to layer so here you can able to view the similar tools as observed in art map so we're gonna click this option called edit vertices so first let me select this uh, feature so i've selected the select tool here i'm gonna select this particular tool here so I've selected it we're gonna click this option called edit vertices so here you can able to observe here we can uh, start editing our vertices here so once you're done editing your vertices you can just navigate to this option here and save edits and stop editing now let me zoom to the 3d layer here zoom to layer suppose if you want to export this uh, particular image in 3d uh, we can just go to the option called file and that we're gonna click this option called export scene so you can click any uh, you can click as 2d or 3d so now let me click 3d and to export the file in 3d it will be saved in uh, vrml file format and you can click export to uh, save this 3d uh, 3d export i'm gonna save here in maps and I'm going to click this option called export. So here the VRML is means that virtual reality modeling language file that can be uh, so that can be uh, imported in things like Blender. So uh, you can export a 3D models from RGIS this way to use uh, in other software that supports it, whether it's a CAD software or a 3D modeling or animation uh, softwares. And now I could like to show you another option here. We're gonna to navigate to this option called uh, Windows. Windows here and add a viewer. So it adds a secondary viewer to the scene so you can look at the same data from different directions. 
So this tool can that operates in the main viewers also works in the secondary viewers. So now let me click add view. So you can able to uh, see that here. So you can uh, navigate in the second window here as well as in this particular window. And this particular tool is useful when you're working in 3D to able to uh, to uh, to set up uh, viewers from different angles. So like this, you can set up a uh, multiple viewers to view this particular uh, data in the different angles. And now, uh, now uh, let's take a look at the layer properties here. So we're gonna navigate to this layer called dim data. We're gonna right click and click this option called properties. So this it is our layer properties. So now let me show you from the general tab. It's kind of familiar to, uh, it's kind of similar to arc map. And next we're gonna click this option called source. So uh, I can able to view the different details about this particular file. And next we're gonna view the display. So here I can set the transparency for this layer. And next we're gonna navigate to this option called symbology here. So in the symbology section, you can able to see the two different options that is available in this, in this particular here. So one is of edge types and the second one is elevation. So let me click this bar edge types here. So currently I've set the edge type to uh, black. So you can able to view in this particular model here. It is uh, in the outline of this data I have uh, given a black color to it, which it is a red edge. So you can also add a different color to it just by right click and uh, properties for the selected symbols. So you can give a different color to it. So now let me add a red color to it and uh, click OK. And let me apply it. So now here you can able to visualize the change here. So it is in red. Let me get back to the elevation here. So in the elevation, you can choose a different color ramps that is available. So uh, let me select this particular color ramp here. And I'm gonna click apply. You can able to view the changes here. And let me click OK. And now next next set of options, we're gonna navigate to elevations here. So here, there is a different color ramps option that is available. You can choose a different color ramps here. So now let me select this particular color ramp here. I'm gonna select this one and apply it. And the next set of options we're gonna navigate is the base height. So in base heights, uh, I can set whether or uh, not this data is floating on the surface and uh, so for example, let me show you that in the elevation from surfaces, this particular option. So currently it's set to floating on the custom surface. So if I set no elevation values on the surface, we're gonna click this option here. And let me show you that. So now it is in uh, without any elevations. So basically if I set to no elevation value from the surface, uh, it just flattens out for me. And now let me uh, select this particular option here, floating on the custom surface again, and we're gonna click apply. And now we can able to view the result here. So the last option I wanna show you is, is the uh, rendering option here. So here we can uh, click this option called rendering. So here this option called visibility, you can render the layer at all times, or you can uh, choose this option called render the layer only while navigation has stopped. So let me select this particular option here. Click this option to render layer only while navigation has stopped. Click this and uh, apply it. So once I start navigating, uh, I click this option. Uh, let me show you, click OK. And once I click this option called navigate, it just, uh, it becomes uh, transparent. So suppose if we have uh, several layers on this particular dim data, to view that particular data, you can choose this option. And uh, once you're navigating, the particular our uh, dim layer will get uh, transparent. It get transparent. So you can change this option by using this particular option that is available in the render section here. So let me change back to its original render layer at all times. And there is also several options that is available like effects, shade aerial features uh, related to this uh, scene light position. I use smooth shading if possible. And uh, there is a separate uh, option for optimization here. So now let me close this. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, navigate and edit and visualize the GIS data in uh, 3D using ArcScene. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, give us a like.